Hello and welcome to Paper Plays Julie K. Thanks so much for stopping by. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day. And today I have a gorgeous design team package to share with you guys from Angel Dream Crafts. And if you guys are not familiar with Angel Dream Crafts, it is a store owned by Kim and it is a store on Etsy. So if you are interested in checking out the store, make sure you open up the description box below because I do have a link for the Etsy store. I also have links for the other wonderful ladies who are designing for her store. I also have links to her other social media like Instagram. And then the other thing I wanted to mention real quick too before I go through everything that I was sent in this wonderful package is that she does offer free shipping, I believe, if you spend $35 or more. And um, she carries laces and flowers and trims, embellishments. She also recently started carrying some paper too. I didn't receive any paper in my design team package, but it is in the store right now and it's some gorgeous. She has some vintage paper in there and some shabby chic paper, which is really fun. And so here's everything I received in my package and Kim was really generous. I have so many fun goodies to play with. Uh, my mind is just swimming with ideas. And I think I'm going to start off with just showing you guys some of the smaller elements that she sent to me that I put in this little heart container. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can check, check them out a little bit closer. Um, she does send in everything in cute little bags. These are cute little plastic bags with little roses on them. Isn't that cute? And so she does carry some glass cabochons in her store. And I received these beautiful fairy ones. They're little garden fairies. And these are really fun for all sorts of things. Whether you're into fabric and lace projects or paper projects, you can definitely use these on either. You could use them as centers of flowers. You can put them in your journals, on a journal cover, on tags, on little notebooks. So lots of ideas, or even if you're into making jewelry too, you could add these to some jewelry pieces also. So those are really pretty. And let's see, in this next one, um, Kim also does carry different charms as some of the embellishments she carries in her store. And so she did send me a couple different charms that she had. She had these really cute angel wings. And then I also received these adorable little birds. Aren't those cute? Especially, I love these ones, the pink and blue ones. Those are really shabby, really cute. And she also carries a ton of different bling in her store. And she does change out her bling. And she also um, has a few favorites that she continues to, to keep in her store. And so here are the couple that I received in the package this month. Look at those with the rhinestones and the pearls, the little crowns. Those are really pretty. Again, fun to add to a journal cover, onto a fabric tag. And then these I love. I've I think I've had these before in a past design team project for Kim. But these are a bigger rhinestone center with a whole bunch of chain of rhinestone around the outside. And these are fun to add to the insides of flowers. They're the perfect size for, for flowers. Then the last little bit of embellishment that um, Kim sent this month in the package are these fun little buttons. She does have some different style of buttons. These ones are kind of like postage buttons is what I would call them and they're kind of a vintage travel theme shabby theme on some of them so that's like Paris that one looks like New York and some flowers on it this one's a little bit more vintage with some parrots and some flowers on it really shabby one with the butterfly and the rose this is pretty with the little lilacs on it and the butterflies a basket full of tulips That'd be fun for a spring project. Another type of flower on that one. Ooh, another Paris one. I never get tired of working with Paris stuff. And then another final 
Paris one. So you get a pretty good collection when you order those. So um, lots of fun goodies there. So thank you so much for those, Kim. I have all sorts of ideas swarming in my head for those. The rest of the fun goodies that I received in Kim's design team package are some flowers and trims, appliques, lace, and there's just so many fun goodies in here. Kim recently started carrying flowers in her store, so I will start with those. And I love flowers. I use them very often on cards, but you could also very easily add these to fabric and lace projects or even covers of your journals. I really love this style of flowers. There's a little pearl center with some rhinestones and then kind of the flower stamens that are coming out of there have pearls on them. So that's a nice white color. And this one's kind of a vintage pink or beige color. It's a gorgeous color to, for vintage projects. And then she had some really pretty roses in her store, little fabric roses in all sorts of different colors. So here's some white ones. This one's a beautiful shabby pink color. This one is a rose, kind of a rose pink colored and there's a little bit of off white in there too. So this one would work really nicely also for a vintage project. And a really pretty purple, light purple lavender color on that one. There are also a ton of different appliques in Kim's shop and this is the one that she sent this month. It's, as you can see, it's quite big. It's almost two handfuls or part of my arm there and there's roses on it and some different flowers. This one you could definitely use as is. You could layer it around a fabric image on a cover or a, some other type of fabric and lace project. But this one also easily lends itself to being cut up and used in little pieces. So you cut out just the little pieces on this one. So I'll hold it up close for a better view. The next little applique that I had received in my design team package is kind of a bridal applique. This one's really pretty with the pearls and there's a few sequins on there. Really gorgeous. If you wanted to on this one, you could maybe even cut out the center very carefully and then add some sort of image behind that one. And again, when you work with appliques like this, what I usually like to do is add a little bit of glue on the back and let it dry just so when you start cutting it up into pieces, your pearls don't fall off. But that is such a pretty applique. Angel Dream Crafts also carries a ton of different doilies. Sometimes they're all the same. Sometimes there's grab bags. Oftentimes she has larger doilies that are vintage. And this time she sent a pretty good set. I don't know how many are in here. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Looks like there's eight doilies in this package. And then she also has a little connector pieces, which these are perfect for centers of flowers if you do a doily flower. And then again, I would go ahead and add some sort of bling or button to the middle of that. Really cute. And there's the doilies. And the this size is pretty good. You could make a little mini doily book out of these ones if you wanted to. Also perfect for layering on your journal covers. I also like to cut up the bits and pieces on doilies like this. Like I would maybe cut around here and then you have a nice little crocheted type trim that and then cut cut down on it and then you'd have a nice little crochet trim that you can use in your journals too. So you can take things apart or take the middles out of these. There are a ton of different dangle laces and trims in Angel Dream Crafts and this is a really pretty one with the roses and the leaves hanging off of it. I think I'm going to be cutting this one up and just using the little pits of, bits and pieces of it. Um, this would definitely make a nice little piece if you just cut here and here this little piece for adding to a snippet or you can hang it onto a journal page. 
and another really fun lace. This one almost reminds me of kind of a, this dangle trim reminds me of a kind of a boho style trim, but you could definitely make it into shabby chic with this one. And since this one has the nice little circles on it, it lends itself nicely for adding pearls or buttons or bling to the centers of those. And in the past I've had, I think maybe I've had this one before from in a design team package or a similar one, but you can also cut up the top piece and use just that small piece right there. And then you can also cut just the bottom dangle off on this one also and just use the dangle pieces or just use it as is. But another very, very fun one. And I used a similar one a while back. I created an altered um, paintbrush and this one would be really fun on that type of project. The one I used on that one actually had leaves on it, but this one would be fun for that type of project too. And here is a gorgeous tulle trim in purple. I do know that Kim does carry this one in other colors. And it's a double layer of tulle. So you're getting two layers on that one. And again, these are fun to edge images, but these this type of trim, um, since it's already somewhat gathered, makes really fun flowers. So um, really fun trim there. This one's very sparkly. It's kind of a light purple color and it has kind of some silver shimmer to it. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up or not, but really cute fringe trim on this one. And again, there's little spots on the top of the trim where you could very easily add little pearls or bling to it. Another one of my favorites in Kim's shop is this purple trim. This one has little, um, violets on it and this one you can easily cut apart and just use the little individual flowers it is definitely small enough that you could use it for edging an image out also here's another smaller edging type trim in kim shop and then this one you could also cut it apart and just use the little bits and pieces as a little embellishment but this one's really pretty and this one's a pink and kind of a rose color but I think if you were to put it on top of a purple trim, it's gonna highlight the purple color in the roses. So it's a very versatile trim, this one is. That it could lend itself to some purple projects or else pink on that one. And then a final trim that I received in my design team package is a braid trim. And this is a very nice edging piece. I love trims like this. This is so fun to use in journals and just that little extra touch for finishing off a project or an image if you need to, to edge it. It's just the perfect size for all sorts of things. So I love that trim also. It's kind of a staple type trim that I think everybody should have in their stash. I just want to thank everybody so much for watching today. Again, I have all the links that I talked about earlier in the video listed below in the description box. So make sure you do open that up. And I will be back later this month with two projects using all of these wonderful goodies. So until next time, have a wonderful day and happy crafting.